manatee.com. Welcome to a brand new week. We're, uh, little manatee and I are sitting here at the vet. And, uh, yeah, he's got a clean bill of health. There is just one thing that might become an issue later on with him. Um, and that is something that affects most Sharpays. Um, because of their loose skin, what can happen is, uh, their eyelids can kind of like fold over their eyes and, uh, that'll eventually cause them to go blind. He's got some irritation on one of his eyes. So, uh, they gave me some, uh, they gave me some eye drops to see if that would, um, if that would help fix the, uh, the, uh, issue with that over the course of the next, uh, week or so. So we'll see how that goes. He, he kind of had a little bit of, um, I don't know if you, you might be able to see it on him. Where is he? Where is he? Wait, where? Oh, he's lying down. You probably can't see it there. Uh, he has, um, uh, some like crusting, like some yellow crusting around his eye and it, and both his eyes are a little bit irritated. Thought it might've been allergies, but I guess it's, uh, it's, uh, this issue. Uh, the eye drops are just for his right eye though, because it's the one that's been having like all the, uh, the crust. But yeah, if, uh, if the eye drops don't work, then he's going to have to have cosmetic surgery. And I'm not joking. Uh, two of the three Sharpays I've had in the past have had to have, uh, this surgery because of the same issue. It's just, it's just something, something with the breed, uh, that happens. At any rate, yesterday, what did I do yesterday? I streamed more Terraria Calamity with, uh, with Brett and Sai. It's always fun. Uh, we hit the end game of, uh, of Terraria and are moving on to, um, uh, let's see. Well, moving on to the Calamity stuff proper, because, uh, now we're just in all the Calamity stuff. So, working at that, getting my yo-yo weapons, uh, ready, because they're just fun. That was really easy to use. Um, in terms of today, I don't have any streams lined up, so that's going to be entirely, uh, it's gonna be entirely, like, recording and editing and, and a bunch of other, like, back-end stuff. I also gotta, uh, approach more people about doing, uh, what do you call it? Super Mario 3D World, because I still have at least, like, four episodes of that left, at least. We'll see how, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. I, I you know, I'm, I think I'm being pretty generous here from, if I think I'm going to get through, uh, all those worlds in, uh, in four episodes. Either way, uh, yeah, we're going to head on home. He's going to, he's going to have, uh, some, some good rest there, and he is a good dog. Manatee. Manatee. <coughs> He doesn't want to look. Baby, stay out of it. Baby, come here. It is Thursday. I spent the past few days doing a lot of work, uh, pulling uh, pulling clips from Twitch and, <clears throat> and YouTube for the highlight reels. Switching to weekly uh, soon. I got just have February's monthly and then weeks one and two of uh, March. And then I'm fully caught up. And I just got to stick to that schedule. So, and you're just hoping. Uh, I also played um, Gary's Mod TTT with uh, with Children Apex and, and a bunch of other people and Len. And, um, and that was so much fun. Oh, my God. It's always, it's always, it's always like wacky uh, what you can do in that game, especially with the models you could import because those are, those are nuts. Uh, the other thing I did today was I played, I got a code for an indie game that I've been really looking forward to since I saw it like a few years ago called Tunic. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it was announced, it's release date and um, it's, you want to go outside, buddy? Do you wanna, oh, you're excited. I bet that other dog is out there. It's a, uh, it's release date. And what platforms it would be on were announced on uh, at E3 on Xbox's um, what do you call it press conference. Uh, and that garnered a lot of attention because it ended up being an Xbox console exclusive, at least at least for the time being. I'm sure it'll come to other platforms uh, at some point. Um, but yeah, uh, it is really good. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun with that game. Um, I, so I streamed it. I streamed it. Once I got the code, I streamed it um, today. It came out yesterday, but I, I streamed it today. And it's like, it's 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 really cute. It's about a little little fox in a green tunic, and um, that's pretty. <clears throat> and you're basically like thrown into this world, and there's like these like these like obelisks everywhere, and these statues of like these like taller, like more adult looking foxes. Um, and like you really don't have like you're. 
introduction to the world is all visual. You don't have any sort of like um, context for it, like at all, really. And the and, and like that's that's something that's like really interesting to me in terms of storytelling. We'll get to that box later. Um, and something that's really interesting to, uh, to me in terms of like storytelling is just like you got nothing. Like even do you want to come back inside? Can I help you? He's running back up to the door and slamming his paws against the window. Anyway, um, but yeah, uh, you really have like no context for the story. Even like the written language on like menus and things like that is just like, it's, it's like, it's, it's either a very foreign language to everybody or it's a made up language. Either way, it's like, uh, it's very interesting to play that game, um, and have like zero, zero, uh, inkling as like what's going on in terms of like story. And you slowly piece things together as you, as you kind of like come across the certain things. None of the characters talk, um, basically just in this with like full like combat and whatnot. What was the other thing too? Oh, the way the game teaches you things is very interesting as well. There's also, like, a, 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 on top of that, like, you find what is essentially, like, a strategy guide to the game within the game itself. It's really neat. It's, it's very, it's very, uh, very clever and unique. I haven't seen any other games do anything like that. I've been enjoying it. Can't wait to play more of it. Uh, probably my indie game of the year. We're only in March. We'll see how it goes, but it's probably my indie game of the year. Another thing I'd like to tell you about is that package I received. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to regale you with a story. One of a, uh, of an email that I got, uh, like maybe a week ago, probably longer than that. It, go, it went as follows. Dear Tom, we know that you're a big fan of McDonald's and Mario Kart. Well, we're uh, we're helping uh, McDonald's push their uh, their Mario Kart uh, Mario Kart Happy Meal toys, and we would like to send you a care package. By the way, on the first part where they were talking about uh, that I like Mario Kart and McDonald's, each of those words had links. The Mario Kart link was, and I'd like to remind you, Happy Meal for kids. The Mario Kart link was. A video of me recording Mario Kart with Achievement Hunter and talking about Zeus's sexual appetites? And the McDonald's link was a tweet I made about getting McDonald's to help a hangover. So this is that package. Um, the, uh, the, the letter is sealed with, <laughs> is sealed with wax with a McDonald's emblem on it. For, for some reason I wanted to say this was ketchup. <laughs> that, you know what? That's not ketchup. All right, let's uh, so let's get this open and see what it says. Hey Tom, gamers like you know there's nothing better than a killer item when you need it most, like a mushroom during the last level of Mario Kart that boosts you to first place, or a mic delivery drop off notification right when your game marathon munchies hit. So to celebrate uh, uh, the launch of our Mario Kart Happy Meal toys, Mario Kart Eight Booster uh, Course Pass, we're hooking you up with everything you'll need for the ultimate Mario Kart sesh. Here you'll find McDonald's uh, case and skin. To drip out your Switch and a Nintendo eShop credit so you can purchase the Booster Course Pass, start mastering new tracks, plus, of course, some Happy Meals uh, for, you, uh, for you to enjoy during all those victory laps. I am 32! And it comes with, it, it came with eight vouchers for, uh, that, that, in that side of the letter was eight vouchers for Happy Meals. <laughs> so that, there's that, starting off. Uh, next, there's a giant box in here. So let's let's see what's all what's what's all up in this thing, huh? Oh my god! On the front of it as well is a is a the big old M for McDonald's. Okay, so oh my god, it is. A McDonald's branded switch case. <laughs> are these, wait, are these <laughs> skins? <laughs> this is like skins for the Joy-Cons <laughs> or DK 
decals for the joy cuts and the switch. And <laughs> It looks like they're also for the, uh, for the, for the, um, the dock as well. Oh my god. Is that all that's in here? Yeah, nope. That's hilarious! What else is in here? And then... $60 worth of Nintendo credits. And, like, the, the paper that they put this in looks like fries. Oh my god. That is hysterical! So I'm the proud owner of a McDonald's! switch case and decals for my switch this is incredible <laughs> they're also delivering me mcdonald's tomorrow before my stream so yeah this is a story to tell on stream oh boy <laughs> oh my god this is incredible well thank you mcdonald's for sending this my way And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna be, I guess I'm gonna be saving some money on my food bill for a little while, just grabbing, grabbing Happy Meals. <laughs> I can't. Well, go to tomorrow. Go to tomorrow. Come here. I'm get a toy. Whatever you take out of there is what we're gonna get, okay? You want a toy? Pick one out. A bit over here. Anything else? Anything scream out to you, buddy? What? You want that one? Buddy, you want this toy? Okay, we'll get this one, okay? Good boy. Hey, Manatee, you're a good boy. It is Sunday! One thing you can kind of see around this room here is I've been cleaning up a little bit around here. I mean, aside from, you know, aside from that. That, uh, that, that's going up on the wall as I'm starting to extend the, extend these up to the top of the wall here. I don't think I ever showed off this shelf, uh, at all. That's, uh, that right there is a little, uh, Funko Pop that one of my friends made, made for me. That's, you know, really nice of her to, to do that for me. Uh, I've had that for, for ages now. I think, uh, I have had that for, oh man, it was before I moved to Texas. It used to have a little pair of, uh, glasses on it, but, uh, but those fell off during the move and I don't know where they are. At any rate, uh, the new Mario Kart DLC maps came out and, oh my god, they're fun. The, uh, the tour maps are very interesting in the fact that most of them change every single lap. So I can't wait to see what more comes of those. I haven't actually played Mario Kart Tour, so I so I went into those completely blind. Uh, Choco Mountain is a very interesting revamp to it. Um, and then I think, and then there's one, I believe it's original track that was included in this, which is like a ninja house. I don't remember exactly what the uh, the map is called, um, but it's really nice looking. I've been, I've been enjoying it immensely. Today in particular, um, I just compiled some of the weekly highlights, and actually, once I'm done filming this, I'm planning on editing this vlog today, so that'll leave me uh, pretty pretty darn open. I also took the uh, the dugong to uh, to PetSmart uh, because I wanted him to get manatee, manatee. He's a little bit busy right now. I wanted him to uh, have a day at doggy day camp where I can get some work done and he could get some play, and uh, I think he got. Just that. There you are, bud. Look at me this way. I got him, uh, as you saw in the previous clip, I got him a toy. But uh, he seems to be more interested in the bone I got him, which is uh, bacon flavored. I think he's actually chewing some of the uh, some of the, the rubbery parts off of it and eating that. But um, it's nice to see him chew. Because I've been kind of afraid that he hasn't been chewing out a lot of his bones lately. And that's part of how dogs keep their teeth clean. At any rate, though, uh, is there anything else that went on today? I can't think of anything. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the night, well, not the entire night, but for the most of the night, I'm going to finish uh, getting stuff up on the wall. You're probably wondering why there's painter's tape up there as well. Uh, I learned this trick from my buddy Lyle, where in order to hang up the, uh, the, um, the uh, sound dampening foam, you use painter's tape. So uh, you, you layer it. You use painter's tape on the wall, 
then you put a piece of really sticky double-sided tape on the painter's tape, and then you put the, uh, the uh, sound dampening foam on that. So that's good, because this is a rental place, it'll be good when I have to take it down so it won't do any damage to the walls. So, you know, hopefully that'll still be the case once I decide to take the painter's tape down. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see when, uh, when, when I, uh, when I uh, inevitably move out of here. But yeah, I've got quite a decent chunk of the wall to take care of. I might also cover some of the ceiling as well. Uh, one of my friends was saying that, uh, that I can dampen a lot of sound if I, if I just sort of cover the corner that I'm in, in a uh, sound foam. And, uh, hopefully that'll, that'll work out in my favor. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just leave it up until I move and then figure out, uh, what I'm going to do the next place. You know, we'll all see. Anyway, that's going to be it for me this week. He is really going at it on that thing. Buddy, you like that? I think that might be his favorite new chew. But you know, that's going to be it for this week, and I'll, I'll close out on his face. His, his very dark face chewing on that. Hope you all had a good week. I certainly did. And I'll see you in the next one. Later!